Before we start, check out the stairs in the back of the video. There, did you see that? Must be some kind of ghost in my house. Anyway, hi, Jason Allen Griffin here, and I'm going to spend the next 14 minutes or so showing you an example of the kind of things that I do first thing in the morning to wake up my body. Okay, so that was sort of a glitch in the video. I did not move that quickly. Um, especially in the beginning, these are all slow transitions. And I also want to point out that this is not a routine. It's not something that I'm following, but it's just movements that feel right in the moment. I'm paying a lot of attention to how my body feels in the morning, and then just doing movements that help it feel better. I sometimes hold this particular movement for as long as five minutes. It really helps to stretch out my lower back and uh, the backs of my legs. And then sometimes when I'm hanging in this position, I'll do these little shoulder circles. Uh, it's really important to me to feel like my shoulder blades are moving loosely. An interesting thing about this movement here, I never realized that I did this until I can see it here on the video. I don't know why I'm touching my face here. I guess it just makes me feel comfortable. Mainly what I'm doing is uh, stretching and warming up my hip sockets.
While I'm not recommending these movements to anyone in particular, I do offer them to you as ways to help your body feel better, but uh, it bears repeating that this is not something that I've practiced and am reciting, but it's just um, an exploration of pleasure in my body that I do every morning. And as you can see, once my body starts to feel more warm and loose, I can add a little bit more exertion into the movements. Uh, I like to increase my heart rate and feel my muscles getting all warm and pumped. This is another one of my favorite stretches. It really stretches all of the spine. You can see I'm using my hand right here. Sometimes if my body doesn't fully um, volunteer to go into the stretch, I can use my hand to manually stretch it and to it coax it into the correct position. And then here I'm adding extra movement into the shoulder. Again, my shoulders are very important. They tend to get tight. And so I do a lot of work on my shoulders every morning. You're about to be witness to me um, achieving a movement that I've never been able to do before, but that I've attempted to do. My goal is to be able to swing from, uh, from this movement here where I'm swinging side to side and go all the way around to touch the upper hand to the floor, which I do right here. It's actually the first time I've been able to do that all the way around without falling. So you witnessed it. So here you'll see I'm trying to do it on the other side. And this is the shoulder, this right shoulder is the one that I injured about two years ago. And so it's still significantly less strong than the left side. Right here, I've discovered an exercise that um, really addresses the particular place of weakness in my shoulder. And so that was a great discovery in that moment. And you can bet that this exercise is gonna show up in my workouts. Can see, you, can, you can see I can do it really well on my left shoulder here, and then on my right, I can hardly get up at all. Wow. 
I had to cut about 10 minutes out of the video there because I did so much out of the frame. But now I'm back in frame and we're back in action. I find this crawling action to be a very healing movement. Anytime my body is in pain, tight, um, injured, or stressed, uh, doing this crawling action tends to loosen it up. I just love it. I do it almost every morning. And this is another very simple yet profound exercise that I do not only every morning, but at various times during the day, I'll just stop and drop into this squat. I'm keeping my feet flat and trying to get my spine completely perpendicular to the floor. I just hang out and let the stretch happen. It requires not only a great deal of flexibility, but also a good amount of strength. And it helps develop both flexibility and strength in the hips and in the legs and in the back. And now I'm off to enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you do too. Thanks for watching.